Hello, good afternoon in London, good afternoon in Blawayo, Blawayo in Zimbabwe. Uh, welcome to You Changed My Life show with Dr. Patrick Singe. And today I'm hosting Milton Sithole. Milton is live from Zimbabwe, live from the southern part of Africa, one of the beautiful places that you have, the Victoria Falls and all the beautiful parts you can ever imagine. So Milton is going to introduce himself uh, and what I know about him at the moment is, he is a singer, a very successful singer in uh, Blawayo in Zimbabwe. Uh, he is a radio personality. He broadcasts and has lots of programs that he does on radio. Uh, he is an international speaker and importantly, he is an author and he has as well co-authored uh, this great book, Let's Brown Change Our Lives. So, hello, Milton, how are you? Hey, hi, hi, Patrick, Doctor, how are you? I mean, I'm good. Yeah, I'm, I'm, great, I'm grateful. Thank you for hosting me this uh, great day. Oh, you're welcome. How is Bulawayo this afternoon? Ah, it's, it's, it's all good, man. It's a beautiful weather. It's hot, sunny. Yeah, it's a beautiful weather. So tell us a bit about the natural attractions in Zimbabwe, because some of us don't even have any clue of where it is. Okay, uh, Zimbabwe is a beautiful country, man. Uh, contrary to popular belief, uh, Zimbabwe is quite a, a beautiful place. Like we have got the tourist attraction areas, like uh, you mentioned the Victoria Falls, yes. which is one of the seven wonders of the world, you know. Wow. We have got, yes, it's Victoria Falls, one of the seven wonders of the world. We have got uh, uh, the Great Zimbabwe. It's a beautiful, beautiful place. You should visit it. We've got the, the Kariba. We have got the Kami Rings, we've got Matopo. There's quite a, a lot of uh, natural attraction, beautiful places in Zimbabwe for tourists That's to come and really the enjoy. Is Brilliant, that's amazing. So what do you do in Zimbabwe? What can you tell us a bit about you? Okay, uh, Milton Sitole is, uh, I'm first of most uh, a son. I was raised by uh, my mom, a single mother, Sibongile Sitole. And I am a husband married to a beautiful lady, Melody. I'm a father to Dietrich. Shivon Sitole, and I'm um, the founder and president of uh, Yati Yati Productions, which helps people to fully utilize their personal, physical, creative, spiritual, and uh, resources through gospel music, because we do music promotions, gospel music promotions, uh, motivational speaking, and film. And I have, uh, I'm a journalist by training. I do, I do music, I do Christian rap music, and uh, I, have a, I have a radio show with the 1873 FM, which was really instrumental in my being mentored by Les Brown, and we are working on some TV, some TV stuff for TV, some material for, for TV as well. And I'm a member of the Les Brown Unlimited team, so I'm hungry to help and change world yeah oh that is brilliant that's amazing lots of things you are doing uh, uh down in zimbabwe uh you talked about being an author can you tell us a bit about what you read about and the kind of titles you have in terms of books okay i have uh, i have a book which was published like uh, it was in june uh the book is why the first discover yourself, take action, and prosper. And uh, in this particular book, I'm, it's, it's actually an invitation for one to, to pursue their God-given purpose passionately and to, be, to believe in themselves. Because I believe, as Les Brown said, that you have something special, you have greatness within you. So in this book, I'm inviting people and reminding them that you are you, you are somebody, you matter. Remember when a baby is born, they are coming, they come out carrying something 
which means each and every one born of a woman, we have got skills, we have got abilities, we have got gifts, but there is the temptation of maybe believing, belittling yourself just because you 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 look at this the 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 celebrities, right? So you feel they are somehow maybe better than you. But then in this book, I'm saying you have something special. You have brightness within you. There is something that God, the creator, deposited in you. You have to discover it. And the way to discover it, you have that relationship with the maker, the one that created you. Remember, he says, even before I formed you in the womb, I knew you and I set you mm -hmm. apart for a purpose in this life. So it is in that purpose that I'm saying, you have to pursue it with purpose, with passion, and you have to have a relationship with the creator. I have been honored also to co-author the book, Les Brown, Changed Our Lives. Thank you so much, Dr. Patrick, for the opportunity. Also, as if that was not enough, you know, the goodness of the Lord. I also happen to be the co-author of the book, Jesus Changed Our Lives. I am really excited and, and happy with what is happening because uh, there is, uh, you know, the Bible says God made everything beautiful in its time. You know, there is a time and a season for each and everything under the sun. At times you may face challenges, you understand? Things may not be going the way that you expect, but then you just have to be patient. You just have to keep on believing because delay does not mean denial, you understand? So there is a set time for each and everything that happens in our lives. Nothing just happens. You understand? Nothing just happens. There is a season for each and everything. So I'm really happy and excited to have co-authored these two incredible books with you. Oh, thank you very much. And these books are going to change the world. You know, Jesus alone, for example, he is a person who has changed over half of the world's population are alive today. Half, absolutely. Talking about over 3 billion people. Yeah, at least absolutely. Of the, three, of the world population, 7.4 7 billion people, at least 5 billion have heard about the name Jesus. Yeah, so it's yeah. great. It's great. There's much potential there. And that's yeah. what sort of greatness is all about. The ability to discover develop it and share it with the world and that's what these books are doing helping people share their greatness that through your story people are going to be transformed that by reading your story they will say yes because of you milton my life is different today so yeah man you know i was listening to a, a teaching by uh, Les Brown, which really was instrumental in transforming my life. You know, mm -hmm. I was on the radio, like I used to watch the radio show, The Thinking Blueprint and Operation of Life with the 1873 FM. So what I will do on the show, I will play some music and then I will have guests and interview them. But before interview, I'll play some motivational uh, footage which I'll have gotten from YouTube. So in this particular instance, I played a, 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 a message by Les Brown. So he, I had never heard of Les Brown. Can you imagine? That was last year. I never heard of Les Brown. And uh, so he was, there was this man, he was talking from the heart with passion. You understand? He spoke from the heart to my heart. And he was saying, imagine this being on your deathbed. You understand? The normal situation is that surrounding you be the loved ones, your friends and relatives around you. But imagine this being on your deathbed. Surrounding you are your dreams, your aspirations, your skills, looking and staring at you with large, angry eyes, saying, now we have to die with you because you never gave life to you because we were given to you so that you can give us life. And then he asked the question, said, what dreams, what abilities, what skills are going to die with you because you were so afraid to take action? That really was a turning point because it was at a time I was going through stuff in my life and he really helped me to really shake it some things off and to 
to say, yeah, this is my time. I am meta. I am somebody. I matter. It's not flattery. There is a purpose for my life. I was created in this world there. I then began to look inside of me to say, what is it that I have? I then discovered, yes, I am a musician. I am gifted with skill of music. I do write music. I do rap. I do sing. I am a writer. I do write, which really set me on fire to really say, I am going to do this. And I'm going to help some people also to discover the greatness that is within them. Wow, that is motivational, that's inspirational, and that leads me to one of my favorite quotes that from Les Brown actually says, if you cannot risk, you cannot grow. If you mm. cannot grow, you cannot become your best. If you cannot become your best, you cannot be happy. And if you can be happy, then what else is there? Yeah. Yes. So I'm yes. sure you've passed through lots of risks. I'm sure you've gone through a lot of struggles. The events that have come to you, and you say, yeah. how am I going to go through this event? Could you share some of the struggles in your life and how you've taken a step forward to go above and beyond your struggles, to be able to create the life that you live today? Okay, beautiful. Um, I'm going to take you back to when I was doing my O levels. Mm -hmm. uh, so what happened is I was somehow did not make come up with great grades in my O level. And what then happened is my who is really one of my role models and inspiration, she said it is okay. You don't have to fuss that you did not do well. I know you did your best. However, you are going back to that very same school where you were mm -hmm. so that you can feel the heat and you can feel the pain. And then I need you to learn from that experience that in as much as you did not get the kind of results which you wanted, it is not the end of the road. You have to learn in life. Things may not always go the way you expect, but you just have to dust yourself up because it is not the end of the road. You understand? So that's what happened. She took me back to that school, David Livingston Secondary School. That's where I was. And I went there and I did repeat my all levels. And then years later, I went to South Africa. You know, I worked in South Africa. What happened is I, I, I was in South Africa uh, in transit. I wanted to work on some, some documents, but then things didn't go according to the plan. So it then happened that I then had to find a work as a waiter. I, I, I served as a waiter for, for quite some time, different restaurants, I served as a waiter. But then I was not happy, and what happened, I lost my passport, I didn't have a permit, I was uh, an illegal immigrant, as it were. So I then made up my mind and said, okay, this is... This is it. I'm not happy here. I'm just going to go back home and uh, start afresh. I was not ashamed to go back and say, okay, I'm going to start afresh. I'm going to go and take myself back to school and just pursue the things that I'm passionate about. Then I went to media school. I studied journalism, media studies, and I graduated a journalist and the reason why I did media study was so that I can start Yat Yat Productions, which is the company which I'm, I'm, I'm running. That's why I took myself to, to, to study uh, media studies. And then we had a concert in 2016 because one of the things that we do, we do gospel music promotions. And uh, we learned a lot of lessons in that concert because things really didn't go as expected like we we expecting a certain kind of support from certain places you know due to our affiliations as it were however we didn't get kind of so that was really devastating and uh it crushed some of our spirits you know i was really downtrodden because we lost a lot of of money we didn't get a return on our investment and uh it was really devastating as if 
that was not enough and God being a good God that he was. I didn't know, you know, the Bible says it's the right order of the law. He's a gentleman in a business, he's a Zimbabwean businessman based in South Africa. He goes by the name of Mutuma Zewamaware. He reached out to me on my LinkedIn. I didn't contact him. He just is the one who just sent me a message out of the blue. I was surprised, you understand, because this guy is, is a millionaire and I will read about him in the newspaper, I will see him on TV and for him to send me a, a message, a personal message, that was something huge, <laughs> it was yeah. something it was something big, you understand. Wow. Mm -hmm. so, and then uh, I responded, to, I think it was after a week, because I really wasn't sure how to address this great man. So I then responded, he's the, the chairman of the 1873 network, you understand? In the 1873 network, they've got the 1873 FM and the 1873 TV. So that's going to be on 1873, seeing my own radio show. Wow. Yes. Uh, that was great, yeah, ladies and gentlemen. And case you've joined, you've just joined us, um, talking to Milton Sitole live from Zimbabwe. Uh, he's a great man, he's a speaker, he's a singer, he's um, a published author and co author of the great book, Les Brown Changed Our Lives. And today he's sharing his story, not just to amaze you, but to inspire you live your dreams. So Milton uh, is talking about his, uh, his experience in Zimbabwe growing up, the challenges that he's gone through to create Yati Yati Productions, a company that is uh, focuses on music and music promotion, importantly gospel music, and is a gospel music artist. Yes, Milton, so can you tell us about your music and if you don't mind, you could share some part of it with us. <laughs> okay, I, I do uh, Christian Christian music, like I write, compose, and we are working on a, an album. There's a gentleman that I, I, I work with. We are working on a, a live CD recording of our music, because uh, of late we have been just doing music, but then it's not yet been commercialized as it were. Right. So I, I I do write I do I, I write my music I sing I I rap and uh, I <laughs> me is my son here. <laughs> I have a new, a new uh, uh, guest. Yes. Yeah. So the music will be coming out soon. People should look out for that, and I believe it will it will inspire people to really, it will inspire their faith because it's Christian music, it's anointed music. Mm -hmm. And uh, there's, there's some music they did uh, also for the 1873 network, which is uh, Change the World, because there was a campaign which we're doing, the Change the World campaign, because remember Steve Jobs said that those who are, who, who are crazy enough to think they can change the world, well, they actually do the world. So it's all about thinking different. So the campaign was, Change the world. I did uh, some some songs for them. Yeah. Well, that is amazing. So, in other words, we've looked at the kind of struggles that you went through growing up. We looked at some of the people that inspire you. You talked about Les Brown. But how has Jesus and you be as well be a co author in the upcoming book, Jesus Changed Our Lives? Could you quickly share with us how that transformation has happened in you? because of your deep belief in Jesus, to the extent of establishing a music company that is specifically based on gospel music. Yeah, yeah. So what's Jesus uh, in your life? Okay, um, you know, <laughs> Jesus is, is wonderful, man. Like no one knows, like I know what the Lord has done for mm -hmm. me, you understand? So I want to share the experiences with the rest of the world because uh, we're living in a dark and cold cold world you know full of wicked and unreasonable men and um, 
Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. You understand? Like, remember when we started, I say that even before the foundation, even before you are formed in your womb, that's what the scriptures say. He says, even before I formed you in your mother's womb, I knew you. I set you apart for a purpose. Meaning that even as you grow up, you know, there is that inner voice, you know, the God kind of voice that will speak to you. We call it the conscience, but I believe it is God speaking to you that when you do something wrong, you understand, mm -hmm. you feel it even as a child when you do something wrong, there's something that tells that this one is, is, is wrong, you understand. So I gave my life to Christ um, when I was, uh, I was in school. And uh, I would go to church as a child, as a, as a baby, because my mother and some elders in the family will say, you have to go, go to church. You know that maybe I had a relationship with him. But I think that really helped me in changing, in shaping my thought process. It instilled some, 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 some values, some Christian values, some beliefs, which were instrumental and fundamental in shaping the way that I think growing up. So really Jesus has changed my life because I am born again. I have got peace within me, the peace of God which transcends all understanding. I, I, I do not have to worry about anything, you understand? Because I know that my future is set. It's all about, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a matter of faith. Remember you say that without faith, it is impossible to please God, you understand? So I, 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 I accept Jesus as my Lord and Savior. I minister, one of the ways I minister is through my music and I've published the book, uh, this one, uh, Jesus, uh, Why the Fuss? And I have co-authored the book, uh, Jesus Changed Our Lives. Those are avenues to really spread the message, to let the people, to let the world know that Jesus is alive, Jesus is real, and here is my story as a testimony. Here is what he has done for me, because you don't have to take my word for it. Here is evidence, there is evidence. I was at this point, I got here, he has taken me from here, and now I'm here. I can see the future, right, because Jesus is alive, he is real. Thank you very much, Milton, uh, for sharing your stories with the world. Uh, thank you very much for taking the courage to do so because one of the things that people do is that they stay with their story, they die with their story, and their story does not make any impact on the world. And that's why my Angelou, my Angelou, one of the civil rights activists, musician, and uh, singer, author, said there's nothing painful Mm. and having an untold story buried yeah. down in your soul. It is painful dying with your story. It is painful because no one is going to be able to see your experience. Look at the struggles that you have gone through and grown through. So in other words, your story, if you die with your story, you won't give people a chance make their lives better because you existed in this planet but yeah. the, the act of sharing your story is very powerful the act of sharing your story is transformational because we was going through your story they will say yes this is what i've learned from milton this is what i'm going to implement in my life and this is what milton has done in my life I'm different today because of Milton. So how can people get in touch with you as so that you can help them transform their lives just as your lives has been transformed by other people like Jesus and Les Brown and so on? Uh, okay, thank you, uh, Dr. Patrick. Uh, like the thing is, you everyone has greatness within them because I believe that you are born as an answer to the cry of many, of millions in the world so i am uh on instagram on facebook uh on twitter at milton millions m-i-l-t-n millions with a z they can connect with me on on, on linkedin milton sitole and um 
they can visit our website www.yatiyatiproductions.com and they can get in touch and uh, you can see how best we can change the world together because that's why we are here to serve we are born to serve you know jesus christ came here to serve he came to seek and to serve the lost so john the baptist said i am the voice of one crying in the wilderness and uh, patrick dr patrick the singer has a vision of of, of influencing the world with his greatness university i want to help people break through from complacency in their lives so we all have got greatness so if you can combine our forces and combine our skills and collaborate i believe will make greater impact thank you very much for sharing that vision with us and actually as you said my vision is to create uh, to help people first of all discover their greatness because there are lots of people who die with a lot of potential in them so discovering that greatness is very very uh, critical not just discover the greatness but be messengers of greatness in the world. The yeah. uh, symbols of hope, because there's a lot of lack of hope, and where there's no hope, then that is more or less the end of life. Yeah. People lose hope, and people end up dying because they've lost hope. And the last one list is to help people. Greatness University is about helping people become instruments of peace, peace in this world. And that's what you're saying. And they do identify with what you're saying that we are the answers to the cries of the people in the world. Now, when yeah. people see the tears that you shed in your life, to create the kind of life you live today, they'll be say yes. Milton is the answer to my cries. Milton is going to help me change my life. Milton is going to help me create my greatest life. And that's why uh, we're happy to connect with you and uh, so that you can help us. You have the gift of singing. I don't have the gift of singing. <laughs> uh -huh. So by, by listening to your music, I'll be energized, I'll be empowered live it better today so thank you very much for sharing that i'm still i'm still itching to your part of that music <laughs> you, 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 in the fullness of time hey <laughs> that's really a little bit longer but soon I'll, no, uh, it will not today, just a little bit <laughs> you want me to sing or just, what, you want me to to just end the show you know <laughs> <laughs> Okay, um, which song should I sing? You want me to sing it? Eh? Yes, so whichever song you really want, to, that'd be great for the uh, for all the viewers that have been listening to you talking about your music and you being a musician. I'm sure they'll be pleased. Uh, no one has commented yet to say yes, we want to hear your music, but one of them would be very pleased. Yes, thank you. Okay, I, I'm just going to do uh, just a, a snippet of a song called. I am somebody. Yes. Okay. Um, it's a rap song. So, um, okay. The chorus goes like, I am what God says I am. I can do what he says I can. And I have what he says I have. I am somebody well i'm somebody no doubt i'm powered by the holy ghost true that papa god is blessed me eat and go be my phone share rados caliber my liver scared i'm not moved go out of feel or see i'm only moved yeah by the word of the lord i'm only moved by by the word of the lord yeah yeah that's uh wow <laughs> I was getting to it. I can't believe uh, it was getting to that. Uh, <laughs> we're in the kind of church I go to, we don't do rock music, but it's very, I think, especially for young people who don't want to go to church thinking that the church is only for the old, the church is yeah, only yeah. for the aged. So that is a way. 
the easy way for them to win. Yes, there is definitely the ease. And you found the way. I found the way. Jesus is the way. <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much, Milton. And your somebody. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for watching. Uh, my name is Dr. Patrick Singer, founder of Greatness University and co-author of Let's Brown Change Our Lives. I've been talking to another co-author called Milton Asitole, live from Bulawayo in Zimbabwe. Milton is a singer and he just misses music. He just joined me. Um, Milton is a radio personality. He's a speaker and above all, a person with a great experience, a person with a great story that is going to transform your lives. In case you want to know more about his story, it's in this book, Let's Brown Change Our Lives. And his other story will be as well in my series, Jesus Change Our Lives. Thank you very much for watching and have a great weekend. Thank you very much, Milton. Thank you, Dr. Patrick. And people can get a copy of that book, Why the First on Amazon, the King the Version is available on mm -hmm. Amazon. It's yes. uh, Why the First book, yes. So they can go to Amazon and get their copy of Why the First. Thank you so much. Thank you. Actually, I had forgotten one more thing. Normally, I ask people, if you are to die today, for example, what do you think is your legacy? What are you leaving us behind in terms of words or message? What's your message to the world? Okay, I think I'll say you are somebody that is not utter. You are born as an answer to the cry of millions in the world, and you don't have to be complacent. There is still more that you can achieve. Life. Thank you, you so much. Stay. Yes, thank you. So you are somebody. There's so much you can achieve. Go for it. Thank you and have a great yeah. day in great afternoon in Bulawayo. Thank you very much for watching and it has been a pleasure uh, being with you. And in case you're catching up with this uh, video, it's been Mr. Uh, Mr. Milton Sitole live from Bulawayo and Zimbabwe and Dr. Patrick Businger here in London was saying thank you and goodbye. Thank you.